What's up guys, I'm Mike and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's video, our 2 hertz video, we're going to take a look at a mesh Wi-Fi system from Rockspace. And in celebration of our 2 hertz video, we're going to give away one of these systems to a lucky viewer like you. So make sure to watch to the end of the video to get all the details on how to enter this drawing. And good luck. All right guys, before we install and review this mesh Wi-Fi system from Rockspace, we need to answer two important questions. First, what is a mesh Wi-Fi system? And second, how does it work? A typical mesh Wi-Fi system consists of multiple hardware Wi-Fi broadcasters, for example, routers or access points. And this hardware works together to form a single unified Wi-Fi network. And you'll need at least two hardware units to form a mesh network. One hardware unit connects to the internet and the other units link to the first one via wirelessly or a network cable to extend the Wi-Fi coverage. And these hardware units have different names depending on different vendors, like access points, nodes, base stations, satellites, or mesh points. And Rockspace calls these hardware units nodes. So in this video, we will refer to the hardware units as nodes. And the hardware unit that connects to the internet will be called the primary node. And the other nodes that connect to the primary node will be called the secondary nodes. Now that you know what a mesh Wi-Fi system is and how it works, let's go ahead and install this mesh Wi-Fi system from Rockspace. For this installation, there are two ways to do this. Rockspace recommends plugging the primary node into the modem via the LAN port on the primary node. And any three of these nodes can be the primary node. Let's take a look at one of the nodes. And all three nodes are exactly the same. First off, I like the black. And the simple black design helps them blend in well when on shelves and in different rooms. And Rockspace recommends placing each node as high as possible for the best Wi-Fi coverage. And each node includes three ports, a power port and two gigabit ethernet ports. So now go to the Play Store or iTunes and download the RS Wi-Fi app. Next, you'll need to create a profile, your email and password. Next, you'll need to go to the area where your modem and router is located. This will be the location for your primary node. Now let's go ahead and connect the primary node. When you connect the primary node to the internet, use the provided ethernet cable and plug it into the WAN slash LAN port on the primary node. And then plug the other end of the ethernet cable into the modem. And then plug in the power supply. Now remember, I did say there's two ways you can install this Wi-Fi system. Obviously the first way is via the modem. However, there's a different way to install this system. In many cases, you may already have a Wi-Fi router in your house. And if that's the case, you'll want to plug the primary node into the LAN port on your router. At this point, the setup process is exactly the same. After you plug in the power to the primary node, the LED indicator will flash green quickly. Now wait about 40 seconds, and that green light will blink slower. Next, use your mobile device and go to Wi-Fi connections and look for an SSID that says Rockspace. Then you want to connect to it, and you can locate that password on the bottom of the node. And once the primary node is connected to the internet, the LED indicator will be a solid green. Once you run the RS Wi-Fi app, go to Setup, and then follow the on-screen instructions. You're going to want to change your SSID name to whatever you want, and then definitely change the password. And now you're all done with the primary node. It's time to place the secondary nodes. The secondary nodes can be placed in different rooms, but not too far away, and with few walls in between. For example, in my house, I placed a secondary node outside on my patio. This secondary node will provide coverage for my patio, my pool deck, and even my pool. And we have a TV outside on our patio, and we connected that TV to the secondary node. And with these nodes, you have two options, connecting wirelessly or wired, using the extra gigabit ethernet connection. Now, once all the secondary nodes are placed in rooms and plugged in with the power supply, 
you want to make sure the indicator lights are all green. If they're all green, you're good to go. If any of the lights are yellow, that means the connection is a fair connection, it's not a strong connection. If any of the lights are red, then there is no connection. From your RS Wi-Fi app, you can see each node in the mesh Wi-Fi system. You'll see if they're connected and how many devices are connected. You can also rename your nodes. And just a heads up, the directions recommend placing the nodes no further than 32 feet apart and with no more than two walls in between them. For example, in my situation, I kept the nodes 25 feet apart maximum. And after testing this product for about five days, I've had no connection issues, especially in my backyard. And the TV on our patio works perfectly. No buffering issues. And the best part about this system is it's reliable and consistent. For me, the setup process was very easy. The RS Wi-Fi app is good. It's not great or fancy, but it's simple enough to use. And this app does everything you need to do to monitor your mesh Wi-Fi system. And what's nice about this system, it's designed for large homes, nearly 6,000 square feet. And that's a lot of coverage. And with the mesh Wi-Fi system, your devices will automatically connect to the closest node. And this system supports up to 1200 megabits per second and supports MU MIMO technology to ensure multiple devices get the same speeds when connected at the same time. And this will help reduce network lag. And this system provides a combined dual band including 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz band. And the speeds are divided between the two bands. The 2.4 gigahertz band gets 300 megabits per second. And the 5 gigahertz band gets up to 867 megabits per second. So guys, like I said before, we've been using this mesh Wi-Fi system for about five days, and it's worked great. And the only issues you may run into is trying to find a power outlet for each node and choosing your locations wisely. You wanna keep them away from electronics that may interfere with the signal and even multiple walls. But that being said, we highly recommend this mesh Wi-Fi system for Rockspace. So guys, now on to the giveaway. Ultimate Tech Hub and Rockspace have teamed up to give away one of these systems to a lucky viewer. To enter the drawing for this free mesh Wi-Fi system, simply leave a comment in the section below. And it's one entry per person. So you can't comment 10 times to get 10 entries. If you don't need a mesh Wi-Fi system, when you leave a comment, just say you don't need it. And that way, I won't put you in the drawing. This giveaway will go on for seven days. We'll then randomly pick a name from the comments below. I'll contact you via email to get your name and address for shipping. It's that simple. And also guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we'll give a personal shout out on the very next video. So as usual guys, I wanna thank you for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.